So I wanted to do a really quick update on the new firmware for the Samyang 35 150 millimeter f2 to f2.8. Right now you're seeing me on this lens. This is with the new firmware on it. It's at 35 millimeters at f2. And a overall synopsis of this new update is that it helps. It helps a little bit with the performance. The infinity focus issue doesn't seem to be an issue anymore. There is still some problems with the features that this lens has. So like the dolly zoom and the parfocal. I still think that those features are kind of inconsequential to this lens. I don't think that most people are gonna be buying it hoping to use these features. So right now I think we're at like 125 millimeters. Again, the autofocus works perfectly fine. Sometimes it hunts a little bit if you're you know not well enough exposed, but for the most part, the autofocus works great on this lens. I don't have any complaints as far as autofocus performance and video. Not really a photographer, so if you're looking for information about the photography side of it, I'm not your guy. The original firmware worked perfectly fine. The only thing that I had problems with was infinity focus, which I'm starting to think now that it could be, I was using a really cheap variable ND that could have just been really, really soft. So that could have been messing up my infinity focus, very unlikely, but yeah, just want to give a quick little update on this lens. Still a great lens for the price. I still think it's a really versatile lens. I know that the new Sigma 28 to 105 came out and that's probably gonna be, I think around the same price, maybe a bit more expensive, but I still think that this Samyang is a pretty good deal. Anyways, this is the new firmware. I'll give you a couple of examples of some dolly zooms and some par focal shots. Again, I don't think that they've really been that much improved, but again, it's negligible to me. I don't really care. I'm probably never gonna use those features, uh, being able to crash zoom would be nice. It does still lose focus in the in-between parts. So that's just something to keep in mind. But again, I'm not using those features. I'm just using it as a normal lens, just like I would use my Sigma 28 to 70 or any of my Lumix lenses. That's how I'm using this lens too. I don't really care about those different modes that they offer. But yeah, I just wanted to you know bring you this video really quickly because I said that I would, but that's really all I have. Still a great lens. This new firmware improves it a little bit and it's really easy to do. You can do it inside of a Lumix camera body. So you just download the new firmware from Sam Yang's website, put it into your SD card, and then go to your firmware update settings and you can update the lens that way. So super easy and it helps.